Hey, it's Coach Colin Castell with Shop Mechanics, and today we're gonna learn five of the most unstoppable post moves on the planet. Now, some of these moves are simple and some are more complex, but I can guarantee you that if you master even just a few of these moves, you can become unstoppable when you catch the ball inside of the paint. Now, you might also be thinking, Coach C, I'm not a post player, so I don't really care, but that's not actually true. Odds are that inside of your team's offense, you're gonna catch a pass inside of the key at some point, and it's best if you can have two or three moves that you can go to to get an easy bucket every time. All right, let's start with move number one and the staple to any post game, the jump hook. So you begin the move after you catch the ball with your back to the basket. And generally it works best in the low post area, so you don't wanna to get too far away from the hoop with it. Next, execute a power dribble that launches you into a low two-footed jump stop. Make sure that you rotate your body so that your inside shoulder is now facing towards the basket. Immediately pop off your jump stop and rotate your shoulders forward while finishing with your fingers in the basket. It also helps to use your offhand to clear a little bit of space so the defender can't block it. Remember to get good touch on the basketball as well. And the next move is a counter to the jump hook, and that's the step through. So it all starts the same as a jump hook with a low two-footed jump stop. But once you land, use an up fake above your head to get the defender to leave their feet or rise up out of their stance. From there, just step through, pinning the defender on your back. Now the key is to jump off of both feet at the same time, because if you rock to your front foot, it will technically be a travel. After that, just make sure you put the ball up soft on the rim or on the glass. So if you come to a two-footed jump hop and jump off both your feet at the same time, you should be good to go. All right, the next move we have is called the half whirl, and this is perfect for when you catch facing towards the basket. This could be off the pass or a missed long rebound. So you begin with a pound dribble that launches you into a half spin move. From here, I like to hang the ball out by my hip just a little bit so the defender sees it and will bite and move that direction. Then just front pivot back around and launch into your shot. Now it helps to locate the target really early, so whip your head around as fast as you can to find the rim. So work on different tempos and see what gives you the best results. And that brings us to our next move, the half whirl counter. It all begins the exact same as the regular half whirl, but instead of shooting, you're going to use an up pick with the ball above your head and then step forward to finish closer to the basket. And just like the step through move earlier, you wanna make sure that you jump off of both feet at the same time. That way it's not a travel. This is probably my all time favorite move and the one that I always go to if I know I need to get a bucket because the D always jumps that pump fake. All right, let's keep rolling to the next move and that's a reverse pivot stab. So this move starts when you catch with your back facing towards the basket and you begin with a hard reverse pivot opening up so your chest is facing towards the middle of the floor. I always tell my players to pretend like they're stabbing their foot towards the baseline when they do this reverse pivot. Next, immediately rip the ball back and put down one dribble going towards the middle of the floor. The idea is simple and effective. Get your defender leaning one direction and then explode the opposite with the ball. Once you get comfortable, you can even hang a ball fake to sell it even more. So those are five of the nastiest and easiest post moves that you can use to score on any defender when you catch inside of the paint. I would recommend just choosing a couple of them to work on out of the gate, and then once you get comfortable, then add more to your game. Also, if you enjoyed this video, show us a little love with a like, comment, and a subscription. And don't forget to click the annotation above or the link in the description to get a free copy of my top three favorite shooting secrets. You can learn to plug my favorite mechanics directly into your game and probably increase your shooting percentage overnight. Again, this is Coach Colin Castell with Shot Mechanics. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Yeah. <laughs>